Hey everyone, it's Mitchell here. Today we're going to be looking at some delicious food options at Halloween Horror Nights 30. Let's check it out. Howdy y'all. I'm here at Universal Studios. Why am I here you might ask? Well my shirt might give you a little hint. Halloween Horror Nights. This is like my fourth night going and I had to start off with a special pepperoni pretzel from Auntie Anne's. Auntie Anne's or Auntie Anne's. But anyways, this is not a Horror Nights exclusive. I just was hungry for it. But we're about to go inside and check some stuff out. We only, there's only one house that I have not done yet. And it's a Tooth Fairy house, which I did last year. But I'm still excited to redo some of the houses I've already done, spend more time in the scare zones, and try some more delicious food. Last vlog that I did, I, did, I didn't really go in depth about the food. It's more about some other special hidden things around Horror Nights. This, this video, it's gonna be about food tonight, starting off with this delicious pretzel. The 30 years, 30 fears scare zone at the beginning of the park looks great during the day with the Florida sunset, but at night it has the full fire effects, which makes it look fantastic. The energy of the scare actors this year has been absolutely fantastic. This year has been a great year to come to Halloween Horror Nights. And if you're of age and you do like to have a drink now and again, try the Oktoberfest. It's straight from Germany. It's one of my favorite beers. It's unlike any other beer you've probably ever tried and it's delicious. Mel's Drive-In or Die-In is great for photos, but the food is uh, so-so. And I'm telling you, it's definitely worth coming before dark because of the beautiful Florida sunsets that you'll experience at Horror Nights. Now it's time for the world famous pizza fries that can be found next to the Spongebob store. Mmm, pizza fries. Well, G. Williker is getting so scared and made me work up an appetite for some potatoes. Twisted Taters has many different options and you can even get it with a hot dog. I got the ghost pepper one because I am a spicy boy. I've heard the garlic parmesan ones are very good as well as salt and vinegar. When you're walking through the scare zones, there's a good chance you're going to run into the water show. The show's not very long, so definitely stop and take a gander because it's definitely worth it. Last but not least, we got barbecue at the Coca-Cola barbecue stand. Here's the lamb barbecue, and we also got the pork barbecue. They were both very good. I think I like the pork a little bit better though. At this Coca-Cola stand, they also had the Texas Heat Margarita. It was pretty much a standard margarita with a little bit of spice. The Monsters Cafe is a great way to avoid the Florida heat, as well as some of the longer lines at the other booths. Plus, you can watch classic Universal Monster movies. Who doesn't love that? They also have plenty of seating, so don't worry if it gets packed. As you can see, we dug right in, and man oh man, was it good. What's up, bro? He's vegan. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. Leave a comment and tell me what you want to see next. I read every single one, so I'd love to see that. Hope you have a good week. Peace.